The easiest thing in the world to do is to complain, blame, and quit and settle. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. But it takes real work to deconstruct and to reconstruct the thought process and the mindset of an individual when they're trying to change something. That's why I always say to people, what's more important, what we acquire or who we become? So that superset really is going to target your chest. So when you do a wide lat pull down, you're really getting your, everything involved, you're really hitting your upper back, and then when you hit those lateral raises, you're really getting your delts involved. So I like to start out with 15 reps, really get my body warmed up. Um, I probably do two warm up sets, and then four actual working sets. Uh, so you guys see me say six sets, eight sets. A couple of those are, you know, warm up sets, two, three warm up sets. Today we're doing two, so I got one more warm up set, and then we're gonna get two. Five minutes in, did about two, two exercises, one superset, one regular. 
and right now we're at 364 calories burned. So basically, it's not really what you do in the gym, it's how you do it. So I always preach intensity, high volume. I've probably done about 150 reps in 20 some minutes. Obviously, everyone's at different levels of fitness, but once you start getting the habit of pushing yourself, getting that intensity up, pushing the extra reps, pushing the extra sets, your body's gonna automatically change. As long as you're putting the weight with the workouts properly to push yourself, then you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna see results. Right now, I'm moving over to my third exercise, so we're gonna do single arm pull downs. So basically with this, I'm working on the imbalances. So I wanna give proper attention to each side of my body. So we're gonna hit about 10 to 12 reps each side. You guys know me, increase weight each, every set. And uh, yeah, let's go get it. Another way where I kind of lean more to that side and I kind of stretch stretch myself out. So as you guys see in each set, I kind of do them two different ways. There's one way I keep my elbow tight, and there's another way where I kind of lean to that side. Normally it happens when I go heavier. When I go heavier, I kind of get a little bit more leverage and lean more into it, and then I kind of drag it back as if I'm doing like a dumbbell row, bent over row. our third exercise of the workout uh, now we're transitioning to the arms part uh, right now I'm still working on back but we're doing underhand uh, bent over rows so I'm still working my back with the rows obviously but I'm doing underhand to recruit more of my biceps and then we're gonna superset with alternating bicep curls so at this point this is when our workout gets really intense um, we're gonna do about 10 to 12 reps each exercise um, the alternating curls will really get you because you're really doing each one individually you're focusing on each arm and as you're holding the dumbbells especially when you get real heavy that's that's like really tiring in itself not holding the dumbbells but all the reps you're doing you're really doing 20 to 24 reps every set and then you're supersetting that with some heavy rows too so this is honestly one of my favorite supersets to do on back and arms day um, and now we're about to get to it every set obviously and then we're gonna do 10 to 12 wide pull-ups to finish as well basically that's gonna give me a crazy pump um, and honestly I, I look forward to the pumps yeah I like lifting heavy weight but leaving a workout with a pump for me personally 
means that I was working. Like you guys see I'm dripping sweat, you guys see the work I put in. It's only been 53 minutes and we're at 800 calories. This is probably the fastest workout I've had in a while. Uh, but overall, it's been a great workout. Great, great workout. So I'm about to finish with that, four sets of piece, and then we're gonna wrap up the video. Just because, um, extra weight, extra intensity, plus it looks cool. So I'm about to just throw some chains on and hopefully we still hit our rep range. We did not hit 12 reps, but I guess eight is the magic number. So we're so we gonna make up for it on the curls. So eight is gonna be the magic number with the chain. And we'll probably hit about 15 reps every set with uh, hammer curls. Even if we increase weight, we're still going to hit about 15, maybe 17. We got to make up for the reps. I know I said 15 every set, but I'm starting to get tired. Those, those, those uh, chain pull-ups were unexpected. Kind of got me working. As you guys saw, I barely hit eight for the most part. But uh, I'll probably do one more set of the chain pull-ups, and then I'm just going to do a burnout right with body weight. We got 57.5 for 15 reps, and then that's going to be the workout for today. I can barely pull my own body weight up. Uh, today's workout was honestly pretty crazy. So we just finished up 64 minutes and we're at 960 calories. So honestly, all you need is 60 minutes to get a crazy workout. You just need the intensity there, get the reps, the volume, and know how to push yourself. The only way you're gonna know how to push yourself is try on air. So me over time, you know, I, I had to fail in order to get where I'm at. I definitely didn't expect to put that chain on my back, but I knew I still had a couple reps in me, even with the added weight. So the moral of the story today, you can get a crazy workout in 60 minutes. You gotta push yourself in order to get the results you want. And you gotta just get out there and go. You can only you can only get so much until you put yourself in the field. So until next video, make sure you watch the video, take some notes down, try to work out for yourself. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next video.